pay back the $6.3 trillion of deficit run up by their parents. Thank, excuse me, thank you, David Drucker with Roll Call. Have you estimated as a part of this what it will cost the taxpayer if there is no fix to the current system where you have approximately 11 million or whatever mm -hmm. the number is that are here, here illegally? When you look at the report, I say that one of the most difficult things is to uh, estimate current law cost because the current law itself is ambiguous. But assuming that that the current pattern we see, which is that illegal immigrants stay here until they are in their mid-50s and then seem to go home, I would say that the cr net current law cost is around $1 trillion. So that uh, that's what would happen without an amnesty. The, the, if you add the amnesty on top of it, then you, you, then you have an additional $5.3 trillion to come up to a total of $6.3 trillion in costs. Okay, and then just um, one quick follow-up then. Then from a, strictly from a fiscal sort of taxpayer point of view, in a sense you're saying, or I'm asking if you're saying, that current law is whatever problems people may have with it, mm -hmm. just a much better deal for the taxpayer? It's an enormously better deal from the taxpayer. The, the, the amnesty bills take a really bad, broken system and make it much more expensive and much worse from the taxpayer's perspective. Thank you. And, and that doesn't include the, the, what uh, we believe would happen as it did before. An amnesty is likely to create incentives for more unlawful immigration uh, with the anticipation of another amnesty, just like in 1986. I think in every point, Robert has uh, reasonably but uh, underestimated the, the cost of an amnesty. Okay, my last question, and I appreciate this. Uh, sen and Senator, this would, I'd be interested to hear your point of view on this. A lot of the talk we hear is that the current system isn't tenable and that there are a lot of problems with it that need to be fixed. But maybe, is that wrong? Is there really not that much wrong when you look at this from the point of view of cost, the fact <coughs> that your estimates are that a lot of people go home by a particular age, which of course, then if, if true, saves us a lot of costs in terms of medical and otherwise on the back end, maybe there's very actual little problem with the current system and it doesn't need fixing. Uh, um, well, let me, I'll j jump in because, yeah, it's, it's, it's a terrible system. It's unworkable. Uh, it's dysfunctional. Uh, it makes it easier to come unlawfully than lawfully. We, we've got a, a number of, uh, I guess, areas of our economy that need to be supplemented, particularly with high-tech and high-skilled labor. Um, and so it, it's a system that needs to be reformed, and there are a lot of benefits that could come from reform, but those benefits should not be subject to an amnesty which will cost an additional 5.3